Hey mate, so I finally wired the LED lamps into my train set and they look brilliant, but you're probably wondering how can I wire LEDs into my train set? And how do LEDs work? So first things first, LED stands for light emitting diode. This is a standard wire LED and it has two distinct features. There's a flat edge on the side of the case and one of the legs is shorter than the other. Essentially these features just define that the shorter leg, the one closest to the flat side, is the cathode, the longer leg is the anode. I'm using the circuit diagram simulator Yenka, which is available for free if you follow the link in the doodlywop below. So this is the standard symbol for an LED you will see in a standard circuit diagram. It's very similar to the standard diode symbol, however it has arrows which indicate light is being created. Now before you start wiring LEDs to a power supply and blowing stuff up, there are a couple of things you need to know. For example, you're probably wondering why one of these doesn't have a resistor attached to it in series and one of them does have a resistor in series. Well that's why. The resistor is required to limit the current. Now here comes the scurry science bit. This is the characteristic curve of a typical LED. Now although it may look scurry, all it really shows you is how much current the LED will use when you apply a certain voltage to it. For example in this case, if you have a red LED and you apply 2 volts to it, the current drawn will be about 20 milliamps. However, you'll probably notice that this is an exponential curve. So when you apply a massive voltage to it, like 12 volts, the amount of current drawn is tremendously high and hence causes the LED to blow up. So the way to reduce the amount of current being drawn is to apply a resistor in series with the LED. Now this is a characteristic curve of a resistor. Pretty boring compared to the last one, right? Well that's because the resistor is a linear component and its behaviour can be described with the equation V equals IR, which you might have seen in physics class. So using this equation and information attained from the LED datasheet, which describes the safe operating current for the LED. Taking into account the voltage drop caused by the LED, we can calculate the resistor size required to protect the LED. Now here's some footage of my train set in action because I know how much you like trains, Nathaniel. Take it easy mate, I will see you next week.